In this video, I want to talk about one of the most well-written algebra books in existence. This book is written extremely well. It is such a good read. The book is Algebra, and it is written by Michael Arton. So if you're looking for a book to read, this is it. I'm pretty sure this is considered a graduate level book, but it just reads so well. Let's look inside this book. So Michael works or worked at uh, MIT. Michael Arton is the son of Emil Arton, which is another uh, very famous mathematician. Emil Arton was one of the first people, if not the first person, to write a book on Galois theory. So Michael Arton is his son, and he is also an algebraist, I believe. So this is the uh, India version of the book, I think. It's like the yeah international edition. So... I had to buy this book for a course, and we never actually used the book, so I ended up reading it uh, during my leisure time, and I was very happy. So this book is very different because it starts with matrices. So chapter one is on matrix operations. You might say, what? This is an algebra book, right? Like abstract algebra. Why would you start with matrix operations? It's because it's Michael Arton, and Michael does what he wants to do, and he does it well. Um, he goes on to groups. Then he goes on to vector spaces. This is awesome. Linear transformations, symmetry, more group theory, Celo theorems. Very, very different from other algebra books, right? The ordering of the topics is not typically what you would see. This is not like Dummett and Foot uh, or Lang um, or Hungerford or any other algebra book for that matter. I'll just talk while I go through the content. Um, it's completely different, right? It's a, it's a completely different setup. Um, I think it's because he starts with linear algebra. That's what makes it uh, so different. Also, the writing style of the author is completely different. Um, let's talk more about that. So Michael does an excellent job uh, writing this book. Um, it's just written so well compared to other algebra books. Uh, if you're looking for a book to read and learn from, uh, this is a good one. That is one of the pros of this book. Uh, now, there are some cons, and I think the biggest con of this book is that it's hard to use this as a reference. I found that whenever I was trying to look something up in this book, I had a hard time finding it. I don't know if the index is not uh, sorted in a good way or it's just a non-standard book, but I had a hard time finding things in this book when I needed them. So it's a good book to read and learn from, but I don't think it's the best uh, reference book out there. As far as the exercises in this book, I thought they were really tough. Um, I mean, I did these here. So five, six, and not so bad there, eight. And like, it, it took me some effort to do some of these. I don't remember how much effort it took, but I had to think, you know, and so I'm assuming uh, that the entire book is like that. There are some easy ones, but Michael does throw in uh, some harder books. So again, the book, Harder problems. So again, the book is Algebra and it is by Michael Arton.